Hello, my name is George Cairns, and in this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to take a RAW file into the Camera Raw editor and reveal the existing sky that might be a little bit overexposed and create a much more dramatic and striking looking sky. You may find that you've got amazing skies in old files that are sitting around on your hard drive, and if they're in RAW format, you should be able to claw back lots of lovely sky detail and then rescue photographs you thought were a little bit bland and create much more exciting looking pictures. So this shot has got a bit of a high contrast lighting setup. We've exposed to capture detail on the bus here and the sky is looking a little bit overexposed. So what we could do is try and drag the highlights to the left to selectively darken the highlights, but there isn't really much difference happening here. We're still not seeing the colors and textures in the sky. Best way to do that is to selectively darken the sky without changing the correctly exposed bus. And to do that, we're going to use the graduated filter. So click to select that or press G for a shortcut and the basic panel will change to graduated filter. And what we want to do is actually increase the dehaze option because as well as bringing back delicate midtone detail, it also boosts color at the same time. Now we can click from the top and drag down and you'll notice that we're now getting more color in these skies. Let me just push dehaze a little bit more and you can see the sky is becoming more saturated now and we're seeing more cloud detail in contrast with the darker, more blue sky. You could also try and drag exposure down a little bit and that darkens the top of the graduated filter. The adjustment is fading as we go down to the red line here, but you might notice it's also darkening some of the things that are sticking out into the sky, like this tree here. So to stop that being adjusted, you can go to brush, click erase, and then just click and spray to remove some of the tall objects from the graduated adjustment. Let's go for this guy's head as well, and maybe the top of the bus. So that's the starting point to bring back missing sky detail. I'm gonna click up here to the zoom tool just to get out of the graduated filter, and I'm gonna show you another secret trick I use to get more dramatic and more striking looking skies. And that's done over here. If we go to this tool, it's the HSL grayscale panel. Click to select that. And then we're going to go to the targeted adjustment tool and then if we go to luminance, we can click on the blue sky and drag down, and that samples the color I've clicked on. You can see the blues are darkening now, and that's giving our sky much more drama and impact. I tend not to go for too saturated looking skies, so I'm gonna to go to saturation and use the targeted adjustment tool just to dip the saturation a little bit like so. And then I can go back to the basic panel and maybe just lighten up the shadows a little bit of the bus just to bring the bus up slightly, brighten that up, and then I also like to give it a little bit of clarity boost just to increase midtone contrast to create a photo with more impact. And this should only take you a couple of minutes, but you can see quite dramatically the change you've got between the original overexposed sky and the more dramatic high impact sky with more detail, texture and color.